So in this video I want to test the construction. Um, I've posted it a, a two times I think in, in various forms. It's a technique I uh, learnt from watching Sacred Geometry International channel by Randall Carlson. He also does, uh, his, another one of his channels is Geocosmic Rex, uh, but Sacred Geometry International. I'll put the links in the description uh, to those and to the earlier version, but we're, we're going to uh, draw a very close approximate of the Great Pyramid. Uh, using the Vesica, and uh, then I'll test it on GeoGebra just to see just how uh, accurate it is. Now it is an approximate, so it's not uh, perfect, but uh, it's still a very good, uh, it's a very simple technique, and it's quite uh, elegant in that way. Okay, so let's begin, we begin with the construction line. And now we draw the vesica, so it's two circles of equal size, so using that construction line. A little bit larger, I want to make sure I've got enough room to do the complete construction set. One circle, the second circle of the same size with its centre on the edge of the first. So that's the vesica Pisces, vesica Piscis as it's called, uh, the vessel of the fish. Now we need to do one more mark, so on the edge there, and we just mark that bit. Now that's uh, important. So I'll get a pen. Okay, because what we need to do is now draw a line using this point and that point, and we're going to draw a parallel line to that top. Now what we need to do is change the size of our compass, so set it to the one edge of a vesica and then we need to adjust it to the size there. Try and get it as accurate as you can. Okay. So now we draw another vesica, which encompasses so again the centre of the first circle here and the second circle on the edge of the first. And so we've got a vesica inside a vesica, and now we have this point, so this point here, here, and here gives us our triangle. We get another colour so it stands out. Okay, now we just need to draw, connect those up. We already have that line here, but just to highlight it. And there we have a very close approximate of the Great Pyramid. The angle that we want to get is 51 degrees 0.884 or 51.85, so it's within this very narrow band. Now with a bit of magic I'll put in, I'll test it on GeoGebra and we'll see what the angle that we get. Okay, it's just to test it in GeoGebra, it's a very cool program to uh, do your compass and straight edge checking and uh, shout out to Geek37, I'll put the link in his description. He's the one who got me onto GeoGebra and does some really cool stuff uh, on there as well if you're into your geometry. So I'll start with uh, Vesica there, actually. I'll do, let's do that night. So drop it on. Do our Vesica and then open it out again and you can even like an auto um, placement for you there. And I'll do one more just so we can do that uh, construction line. Back to the line tool. Okay, so this first circle, these are the ones you need. This third one was just for uh, just to help out with the uh, construction. Back to the circle tool, and so we've got to create a let's zoom out a bit so we get a better view. We're creating a a vesica to enclose the first one 
E and then E to H and we've got line tool Okay, now we can just measure the angle. And we get 51.61, so point zero point two three of a degree from the um, exact pyramid angle, but it's still it's a very, very cool, very close um, approximation of it. And again, it emerges from this all-important vesica so on uh, geometry. The angle we get is 51.61 degrees. So this very simple technique is a very, very close approximation of it. So when you're drawing it, the thickness of the pencil uh, would basically be the difference. But of course, when you maybe this, these things with precision, so I'm surely by looking for this angle, but at least as a as, as a good approximate, what we have there is uh, quite a lovely uh, pyramid design. I'll put the links in the description to the uh, Randall Carlson video where I learned to do it. He's got some other uh, basic drawing technique videos that are also worth watching if you're into this, you want to start doing a bit of geometry and the drawing on your own. Uh, it's a, you know, some great channels there. Um, also, if you're into a little bit more uh, advanced stuff, I'll put a link to another channel, Geek37. Um, he does... Uh, and what a small, you know, low subscribers, low views, but again, that does some really nice stuff there, especially using GeoGebra and showing, uh, doing some amazing constructions with high accuracy. And again, uh, geometry, it rocks. Anyway, so hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.